Hello, my crafting friends. Today we are going to make a real leather chair. Let's get started. You can download the pattern from the description. I'm using 1.5 millimeter basswood plywood sheet. Here is what it should look like. After you cut it out, use the L to poke all the dots. So the diameter of the holes should be 2 mm. For the padding, you can use blanket fabric. You will need to cut two pieces to make it thick enough. Make sure you glue on the other side. This way you can see the pattern as you're sewing. When you apply the glue, make sure to avoid the holes. When you glue the second layer, only apply the glue on the edges. Trim the excess. I picked out some leather cutoffs from the fabric store. Trace the back cushion piece on the leather. Leave a seam allowance about 1.5 cm. Again, when you apply the glue, avoid all the dots. Use a long needle and a same color thread as the material you chose. I push the needle end against a hard surface in order to get it through the letter. Make sure you tighten up the thread every time you go through. Make sure we go through each hose. Here is what it should look like when you're done. Secure each hole with a glue. Let's trim the edges. Cut out some triangle shapes. This way when you glue the letter together, they won't be bunched together.
This is what it should look like when you're done. When you glue it, the triangle shouldn't be bunched together. Give a little pull before you glue to the back. Do the same to the other side. Glue all the sides except the four corners. Trim the excess as needed. Now we are going to deal with the four corners. Cut the corner piece into three pieces. Make sure the middle pieces is really skinny long stripe. Cut out the excess as needed. This piece needs to be trimmed again. Glue the middle piece first. Make sure you put it really tight. Trim as you go, make sure nothing is stacked on top of each other. Here is the result. All the corners tight and the cushion surface is smooth. Let's do the bottom cushion now. We basically just use the same steps as the back cushion. Here is the back and the front. Let's bring out the back and the bottom pieces. The bottom piece needs another piece of leather to cover it up. Make sure to apply the glue all the way to the edges.
and trim the excess. For the arms, I used 1 cm wood dowel. Position the wood dowel as shown and use a piece of paper to set in position. This will be the left arm. Just follow the shape. All the main parts are ready now. Glue the back cushion and the back piece together. Make sure the top edges all line up. There will be a gap on the bottom to glue the bottom on. Glue on the left and the right arms. The back of the armrest should line up like this. One layer of blanket fabric to cover up the arms. Trim the excess as well. After the arms are all padded, cover them with the leather. You can use a pencil to make sure the glue's all settled. Use your nails to shape the armrest. On the bottom, the fold over should be only one centimeter from the edge. If you put too much hot glue, 
Don't worry, you can use the tweezers to pull out the excess. As you trim the excess from the arms, we leave about two millimeter. This way, we can、uh, put some filling in it. You can tell both of the edges has a little bit extra left. Trace the front part of the arms onto the letter. Cut out left and right arm shape, and also cut out two fillings from your blank fabric. After gluing on the padding, glue on the letter and cut out the excess. For the trim of the chair, I'm using a leather string. Normally, use it for necklaces. Carefully apply a tiny little hot glue. Trim around the two arms. Now use one trim to cover up the front. Now on top of the back cushion. Make sure you apply right into the gap. After all the trims applied, make sure to get rid of all the excess glue. Use a letter punch, punch out a two millimeter diameter letter pallets. Only apply a. Tiny little glue. Set in place and push it firm. This will make the chair look more realistic. Push the cushion in. Make sure the small ends go in first. I'm using a wooden pin to make four legs. I paint in black to match up the trim color, and there it is—the finished leather chair. If you have any problem making it, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me to keep making new videos for you every week. I will see you next time.